I'd already been kind of brought up on that side of the family with the crimes that they were doing. My mom was, you know, drug trafficking, the pimp stuff, uh, illegally mining coal, um, charity fraud. Illegally mining coal? Yeah, wildcatting coal. coal. So you- um, Can you explain that? Yeah, so so (laughs) to, to properly mine coal, you have to get a permit, all right? Eastern Kentucky, a lot of people don't, they can't afford the permits. You know, they can, they can get them a piece of equipment. Uh, you know, you get a dozer and a loader or whatever you're going to get or an auger or what have you. So you start mining, but you don't get the permit. So you don't have to find, do the, you don't have to pay. Back then it was like $3,500 for a two acre permit or $5,000 for a two acre permit. Let you strip mine the, the, the coal on that. Then you have to pay for the reclamation on top of that. So once you uncover the pit, take the coal out, you have to cover back up the pit so grass, make sure everything is environmentally friendly. You got oh, wow. a silt pond, everything else at that point. So the whole idea is you buy an acre of land or some area of land, and then you can, there's a whole process you're supposed to go through. To Entire process. It. How many people are involved in a mining, the smallest number of people required for a mining operation? You people. can do it with three or four people. Okay. So, so you've you got can... your loader operator, you've got your dozer operator. You need, uh, you can you can farm out the trucking to someone if you need that, or, or a trucking company if you need to do that. Um then you've got your whoever owns the business as well. So very few people can run an operation like that and profit fairly well as long as you don't have to do the reclamation, all that crap on top of it. All right. The reclamation gets pretty expensive. So if you're uncovering a pit of coal, uh, you know, a, a pit. So a ton of coal is basically about 36 cubic inches is what what a 2000 pounds of coal weighs if you're in eastern Kentucky because it's that the weight of the bituminous coal and everything. The fact else. that you know this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact that you know exactly <laughs> the volume of a ton of coal. I mean, this is great. Yeah, you learn this shit, right? You, you rattle this shit off. So, uh, so you, you uncover the pit and you've got to sell the pit. Well, wh- the thing is, is that where are you going to sell the coal? Well, you sell it to one of these other coal tipples that knows that they're buying the shit illegally. So back then, a ton of coal was, uh, they'd give you like 36 bucks. Per yeah. ton is what that is. And you'd have to go out and you'd, you'd test the BTUs on it. You'd take a, t- a sample to the lab, test the BTUs. You'd take that into the What's company. BTU? Uh, British Thermal Unit. So you'd test how what the BTU on the coal was. How back, pure the coal is. How pure the coal is. What yeah. what what BTU it burns at. Back then, a good a good BTU was around 12.9 was what you'd get. All right. So 12.9 coal, $36 a ton. You'd take that sample over to the, to the coal tipple. They'd say, okay, we'll buy this for you, how many trucks you got or how many tons you got. And you say, this is what, we're, what we've got. Then you'd hire the trucking company and where you get it out because, you know, you've got the agents that are, that are looking for you by this point, because the people that, you know, you've, you've, you've bought the rights to whoever the landowner is, you said, you're going to give them, you know, $2 a ton or whatever this is. Well, the other people there, are you paying them off? Or are you not? Well, if you're not paying them off, guess what? They know your ass is mining it illegally. They're going to report you. Well, all of a sudden, you've got all these inspectors that are coming around and everything. And, hey, we know what you're doing. So they're looking for you to get the pit out. So when do you get the pit out? Right in dead of night. So, you know, you're loading it up 2 o'clock in the morning, hauling his ass out is what you're doing. You sell it out from there. So um, And your mom ran operations like this? Yeah, yeah. And you said you worked the mine too yeah, when you were younger? learned how to run a loader, run a dozer, learned how to clean off a pit, <laughs> everything like that. So this is, this is the lifestyle you, you grow up in. You know, you learn how to do this stuff. 